With the Korean stock market hitting record highs and moving up a ranking to 11th in the world in terms of total market capitalization, industry watchers are feeling optimistic. But will this upward trend continue in the long run? Our Shin Zemin tells us more. Korea's tech-savvy cost tag exceeded the 700-point mark on Friday for the first time in more than seven years. The high was driven by a 29% index increase over the first three months of 2015. Korea's benchmark stock index, KOSPI, also peaked at its highest level in three and a half years, closing at 2,139 points this Thursday, breaking out of the 1,700 to 2,100 point range that stood for years. Korea's total market capitalization, combining the values of all listed companies, is now the 11th highest in the world, up more than 13 percent from the end of last year. The data released by Korea Exchange and Bloomberg on Friday shows that the country's combined market cap hit over 1.34 trillion U.S. dollars as of Wednesday, making it the fourth best performing stock market among the world's leading 15. Foreign investment banks were quick to deliver optimistic outlooks. Morgan Stanley projected that Kospi will rise to 2,200 points based on an expectation that Korea Central Bank would cut the key interest rate again in the second quarter of the year. UK-based Barclays went a step further, forecasting that the key index will reach 2,300 points this year, backed by improving corporate earnings. But a local market watcher points out that the bullish market was mainly led by large companies like Samsung Electronics. The Korean stock market has been growing at a much faster pace than the performances shown by the listed companies. So unless they turn in better performances, overall the market is unlikely to hit the targets of foreign banks. He added that long-term market growth depends on companies sensitive to the global economy, such as petrochemical, steel and shipbuilding businesses. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.